So I'm about to have an appointment with my primary care doctor and I'm pretty all wound up about it. Um, there's so much to go over. First off to go over would be my appointment with Dr. Bowers, which um, she can do a lot of fixing, but she can't fix the nerve damage, which she says usually if you haven't gotten it back within a year, it's gone, but I didn't even know about that because I'm still dealing with a lot of numbness, like um, penile amputation kind of feelings, and uh, that's giving me a lot of anxiety, and it's, I'm very emotional about it, understandably, and I don't know what's going to be able to be done, um, or what I can do to possibly cope. I'm still looking for a therapist. I'm on a waiting list for one. I'm trying to find a therapist that's really worth my time this time around. I need somebody with experience, I think. I still don't know what I can do about my abdomen. My back is killing me. I've really hurt it. Like I'm carrying the weight of the world. I should be seeing my endocrinologist soon about my hormone cycle to see how we can adjust that or what our ideal will be. So I'll mention that to him also. <sighs> we'll see how this goes. I don't know how it's going to go yet. I mean, I don't even know how I'm surviving, honestly. It's a lot worse. Or it's a lot more difficult now that I'm back in Virginia. And the weight of my situation is full upon me. So, <clears throat> God. The numbness has been really very difficult to deal with today. Sometimes I can get my mind to focus on it and get it to go away, but it doesn't always work. Or it just comes back suddenly, where I have this um, amputation feeling. That's just like <sighs> the cringiest of cringe. Um, So when I talked to Dr. Kidd, I talked to him about all the potential surgery changes with Dr. Bowers, the timeline of two years, um, whatever else is going to have to happen, um, the lack of any hopeful indication in my nerve problems. So uh, I don't even know if I can make it two years. In this body. <sighs> Told him I'm still looking for a therapist. Um, don't know what to do about the abdomen stuff. He said. Told him about the letter I got from UVA about talking about liposuction, saying they did not recommend liposuction. I didn't really ask for liposuction at all. What I asked for was some way to fix the problem with my abdomen that had been created by what they did. And then I just got this snippy letter, which doesn't make any sense at all. You know, they're just like, they're just serving their own interests. They're trying to make me look bad, I think. Um, that I have so much anxiety over the worry that I'm gonna keep feeling this way. Um, he prescribed another drug for pain, which I'm gonna go pick up soon and um, see how that works for the for this nightmare. Um, that I'd made, um, the doctor had made some changes to my hormones and we're still looking at what those might ultimately be. He didn't really have any comment about that. Um, but he said, you know, I'm sorry that you've got this bad news. Um, 
but I don't know. It's it feels so hopeless. <laughs> Hopefully this one this drug might help, but I it's hard for me to feel any hope at this point. I come back home and the harsh reality of what is going on is, is all too clear. And it's a dark, dark place I'm in. I hope you see the light. I love you. Aloha.